violence. This murderous regime has put a stranglehold on the Cuban people, but now the Cubans are saying enough. That's why every opposition leader right now is under house arrest. And dozens and dozens of teenagers who dared on July 11th to demand liberty on the streets of Havana are condemned to rot in a Cuban prison just for screaming liberty. That's why the repressive apparatus shuts down internet access every time. So the world won't see what they're doing to their own people. For months, the Cuban people have done their part. Now we, the United States, we must do ours. This country is the shining light of democracy in a sea of darkness that engulfs the Cubans for 60 years. But when they took to the streets in July, as I said, the Biden administration was all talk and no action. As the congresswoman of the city of Miami, as I said, the heart of the Cuban exile community, the city of Miami, I am asking the White House once again, one heck, once again, one thing and only one thing, turn on the internet. 